Hey everybody, Zach Thornell, New England Family Chiropractic, and I want to share with you a lesson today um, to help you sort of understand the state of our health as a country and your very own health, and most importantly, show you how you can very simply clean up your health environment. And when I, when I talk about your health environment, I want to use an analogy first, and we're going to talk about this pond out in the backwoods of Montana that I've just stumbled across that nobody has been around for you know a century or two or three or four and this pond this ecosystem has been surviving on its own and cultivating itself cleaning itself feeding itself doing all the things that it needs to to be a healthy ecosystem a healthy pond we have some wonderful little fish and probably some frogs and turtles that live in there and what happens is we take this wonderful little environment out in the backwoods of Montana and I want you to picture now all of a sudden man steps in and we fill this pond with prescription medication. Every day we come by and we pour a little bit of prescription medication into this pond. Pills, lotions, we come back we pour some everyday cleaning fluid in there. We, we pour a bottle or two of uh, Febreze. We throw a little bleach into this pond every day. We throw some mercury and aluminum and formaldehyde and some of the uh, the other uh, dangerous things that are in the flu shot and other vaccines that we need to find a better way to do. Um, we throw in car exhaust. And last but not least, we come and we put in a bunch of food coloring, artificial flavors, and a whole bunch of fake sugar and real sugar. And before long, this wonderful little ecosystem that had been able to survive in a healthy way for hundreds of years, what do you think starts to happen to all of these fish that live in that ecosystem? What happens to the, the algae and the frogs and the turtles and all the other things that lived in that environment? Before long, the fish aren't reproducing at a very good rate. Their scales are falling off. They've got tumors. They have um, liver failure. They have all sorts of things that didn't exist before we dumped in all this other stuff. Now, would we ever sit back at that point and say, well, there must be something genetically wrong with those fish because they're all unhealthy all of a sudden? No, it, of course we would say, what's wrong is not the genetics of the fish. The genetics of the fish haven't changed in thousands of years. What's changed is we dumped all this stuff into the environment they live in. Well, it's the same thing for the human beings. We're not all of a sudden genetically challenged. There's not something wrong with our genes that's causing everybody to be so unhealthy today, to have such a gigantic rise in autism, to have um, gigantic rises in diabetes and obesity, heart disease, cancer. You know, the war on cancer was, the, uh, they declared this war on cancer in the early 1970s, and we have way more cancer today than we had in the 1970s. So all of these things can't be genetic. What they are is that our environment has changed so drastically in the last 50 to 100 years. It's so foolish of us to say, oh, it's got to be the body itself. It's got to be the genes. Look, it's our environment. So very simply, if we wanted to fix these fish, if we wanted to fix this environment, all of us can sit back and say, well, stop putting all that crap into their environment. But yet with our own bodies and our own healthcare system, Nobody's doing that. Nobody's sitting back and saying, stop putting this stuff in. In our, in our healthcare system today, in our medical system, the problem we would look at with these fish that are now unhealthy, we'd say, well, this one needs a, a different medication. This one needs a, a different lotion, a pre prescription lotion for those bad scales. Uh, you know, the, his fins are rotting off. Let's put some lotion on that. And we would continue to put more and more stuff into that environment. When in reality, the answer is getting rid of all of that stuff, getting rid of as many of those things as we can. So if you want to make 2019 an exceptionally healthy year for yourself and your family, look at your environment, number one, your body. Look at your environment being your house. Look at your environment being work. Look at all the different environments that you are involved in 
and do as much as you can to get rid of all of these excess things that are unnatural and polluting your own environment. The more we can rid our environments of those things and get back to eating fruits and vegetables, eating raw foods whenever we can, drinking plenty of water, exercising every day, doing something physical, breaking a sweat every day. Those are the things that, that allowed man to be healthy for hundreds and thousands of years and what's caused us to be so unhealthy in the last 50 to 100 years is the change in the environment and the change of our, our uh, daily actions in that environment. So if you want to make 2019 one of the most healthy years you can possibly have, do everything you can to rid your, your internal ecosphere, your, your ecosystem, your biosphere, your internal pond, make it as healthy as possible.